Namibia's population currently stands at 2.2 million and mostly made up of the youth. According to studies, most of these youth are still dependent. Omaheke is one of Namibia's administrative regions with a population of around 70,800 people. Like other regions, the region faces the youth unemployment challenge. At the same time, the region struggles with growing skill deficit as the skill shortage appears to be one of the most critical constraints to economic growth and employment creation. Vocational and technical education are recognized as fundamental in fighting unemployment and poverty. But how many of Namibia's youth are willing to take up these vocational studies? I want to go study chartered accountant. Chartered accountant? Yes. Why? Because I'm having accounting. I want to be a chartered accountant. I want to become an engineer. Accountant. Uh, why? Business, business administration, economics, and accounting in order to be a financial planner or an institution manager. Um, I'm planning on studying technical engineering. Yeah, because I have a plan for electronics and you know I'm kind of doing this and that experiment and I see that it might work out well. Journalism. Like, I'm just inspired by journalism. Like, those people who are journalists like this, they're just having the desire to know more about something. Nothing. Nothing. Because I want to save people's lives. Because many people are dying from diseases. Mechanical engineering. Engineer. So I, I'm good in fixing things and I'm good in with electrical stuff. You know. It's NAST or UNAM? Yes, UNAM. UNAM. The UNAM of Namibia. To whether this is based to the stigma attached to the vocational training centers or role models in the youth's lives, it clearly indicates the need to educate learners on the importance of vocational trainings in the growth of the country's economy. As part of government fight towards youth unemployment, the government has set up community skill development centers and these are to accommodate all that did not make it to grade 12, the marginalized group, and anyone willing to do skillful trainings. Kosdek Omaheke is found in the region's capital, Khobabes. Um, Kosdek Omaheke has opened its doors in Khobabes in 2009 with two trades only. Today we have expanded and we have got six trades at the center. These trades include uh, Office administration and computer, hospitality and food preparation, brick laying and plastering, welding fabrication, plumbing and pipe fitting, and joinery and cabinet making. We have got a, a, a one year level one course in all the trades that we are offering. And then after you finish your level one, you go for assessment. After assessment in level two, we send you to a job attachment. After the job attachment, you come back again for your assessment for level two. Uh, I've got about nine staff here at the center, six instructors and uh, two administrators and myself. Uh, the requirement that we require is uh, in some of the trades that are going through national assessment, we require grade 10. But the other, due to the fact that COSTEP is a community skills development center, we want to cater for the youth, for those ones that will not make it academically. So we take anybody who is 16 years and above with grade 9, grade 10, as long as they want to do any technical trade. Uh, definitely you should be speaking English. In each trade we take like 16 trainees, 130 trainees that we take per year. Although there are some of the trainees that may drop out, you know, few, but we really don't have big numbers of drop out at the center. We haven't experienced that. Our job attachment in Omaheke have really uh, uh, improved a lot because most of the company knows that we are training trainees in, in technical fields, like we have got the Hoba Lodge, they will always take our trainees for job attachment, and we have got Kalahari Convention Center, they also take our trainees for job attachment. And currently, the 
joinery companies here in Omaeke, they do take our trainees. Sometimes also the government officers, they do take our trainees for job attachment. And I can say like 40 or 60% of our trainees got their jobs through the job attachment that they go into. The evening classes and the short classes, once these day classes have started, we, we do enrollment and then we we know the numbers of the, the people that are left over. Maybe a week or two we advertise again and call them to come and apply for short courses, those ones that are interested. The government fund this, NTA fund this, and the trainees are funded at level one. They pay a $1,050. Registration fee is like 540 Level two, they pay a one thousand two hundred for the whole full course. Registration is a six hundred dollar for the whole course for the whole year.